up, what up, what up? I'm at my first stop. We're doing some bed bugs, bed bugs. I'm going to see if I can get you some footage. Maybe able to get you some, maybe may not be able to get you some, but we're going to try to get you some. I'm going to show you what kind of money you can make on a bed bug stop. This is just going to be a easy one. I think this is two bedrooms and a living room. It's not a real large house, but I'll show you guys. And I'm going to try to time it for you. But although my times are not going to be really accurate because I do get in the house and start talking. So, But right now it is... Hope you guys can see that 11:49, and I'm about to go in and talk to the customer, and we're gonna get started. So I should get started around 12. And I'll show you guys the time once I get done. Hey guys, I'm in the first bedroom, and I'm about to get started. Just got all my stuff out, got through talking to the customer, and I'm gonna set my timer. I'll show you guys that as soon as I get it set up. And we're about to get started. All right, guys, you'll notice all these spots. These are blood spots. Probably have to do a mattress cover on this one, but we're gonna get into it and see what's what. Room number one completed. Room number two, blood spots. A little bit of everywhere. All right, gang, I'm done. All I gotta do now is write out the ticket. It took a little bit longer because it was a little bit worse than what I thought. But as of right now, I am at, hope you guys can see that. Hour and 13 minutes. So basically hour and 15 minutes is what it takes to do the treatment. It really didn't take that long. It took about 45 minutes. I'm about to write out that ticket and then we're gonna keep it moving. All right, guys, it took about an hour, we'll call it an hour and a half. And that is because I was talking, I was uh, actually talking with uh, her son and her, just educating them on the process and what's going on. Although I told him in the beginning, but when you're dealing with older people, you always want to let like a uh, um, child kind of know what's going on. That way, you know, you have good communication. You know, uh, a lot of times older people don't really know what's going on. I've gone to a lot of houses that other companies have been doing the service yet, but they never explain anything. And I always explain them where certain type of uh, insects, whatever they're dealing with, originate from, how they can get them in their home. Like in this case, it was bed bugs. So bed bugs are travelers. Same way with German roaches. A lot of people tend to think that if they get a bed bug, it's because of filth, but filth has nothing to do with it. They travel and once they get in the house, then you know that's a different situation. Now, if you have a lot of filth in your house, it is hard to get rid of them, and not just filth, but clutter. It is hard to get rid of them. Same way with German roaches. Um, I've been in houses that are super clean, like military clean, and they have German roaches, or they get German roaches. But the key to it is, once you do get them, you wanna go ahead and jump on them right away. And if you don't, that's when you have a problem. Because those German roaches, or roaches in general, they can survive a long time. They can survive in real um, bad conditions. You know, they can water, they don't have to have much food. They actually feed off of themselves. So, you know, they if, 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 they're, if you kill one, clean it up, because they'll actually go in and eat the other German roach. I know that sounds crazy and sounds disgusting, but that's just the truth, you know. I hope you guys can see that. 
that was today and that's the amount 